Ready for this one, guys? Ready? Turn, step. Turn and step and swing. Great hit. He might not move as quickly as he used to, but 93-year-old Dipnarine Maharaj is as passionate about tennis now as he was as a boy growing up in Trinidad. And he credits the sport for keeping him going. What's your secret to a long life? Tennis. <laughs> yeah. Dip learned all about tennis while working as a ball boy at a tennis club open only to whites. Talk about growing up, you, you were at the tennis court, but you weren't allowed to play tennis. That's true, that's true, Sandy. Well, you see, in my day, um, in, 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 uh, I was born in 1923, in October of 1923. So by the time I was eight, 10 years old, the courts were built opposite us on the street across us, but we could go and ball boy there and feel the balls for the players, but we can't play, we can't play. And there was no non-white members. All had to be, you had to be white to be a member. But you learned the game and obviously... Yeah, I learned the game by, by ball boying. Wow. So then I said to myself, you know, in order for us to, to learn to play the game, I will have to build my own courts. When he was in his 30s, Dip was finally able to play on real courts, the ones he built on his own property. And he taught all seven of his children how to play. And then after that, we played the tournament and we won all the events in Trinidad, all the senior tournaments, the junior tournaments. Six of his kids attended college on tennis scholarships. Two sons and a daughter are ranked by the U.S. Professional Tennis Association, and one of his daughters is now an instructor herself. You see, tennis, you have horse racing. It's the sport of kings. You have the Aga Khan, the Queen of England, and all these people have horses. But you find that lawn tennis is the king of sports. Anybody can play. Anybody can play. Love that. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, good hitting. Backhand, right foot. Backhand, body. Great backhand. Today, Dip is working with nine-year-old Cassidy and her six-year-old brother, Jackson. He's been their coach since they were big enough to hold a racket. He is very patient. He starts out very slowly, like he makes them master certain steps before they move on to the next step, um, because he really believes in building that foundation so that they, you know, have it. It's like a a skill that is just ingrained in them. Control doctrine. Yes. He's really kind and gentle and like, I don't really know how to describe it, but it's just amazing. I describe Dip's coaching style as encouraging and firm, but fair. Right. You certainly yeah. can't argue with a man who's oh. 93. Oh, air ball. Cindy, what happened there? Uh, I didn't do this. No, what happened there? That rocket got holes in it. I, yes. Large hole, <laughs> very large. Now one forehand, one backhand. Okay. One forehand grip, right foot. One backhand grip, left foot. Yes, okay. like that. There we go. Crack it back. Into your hand. And into my hand. Yes. Into your Crack hand. Crack it back, hand. Yes. In that hand, touch it. Yes, towards the net and defense again. You see? You see that? That's better. Right. We're getting there. So how long will Dip keep this up? Tennis is a way of life. And you know, they tell you racket sport gives you a longer life. If you check the records of all the other sport, racket sport ranks 70%, all the rest around 40 and 50 and, and so on. So is that why you look so good? I guess so. I guess so. Yeah.